Gypsum board has been around since 1910, and up until now, there's been no real innovation in the tools used to install it. Manufacturers today are making 18 volt brushless cordless screw guns. And in this head to head, we're taking a look at the features as well as how well these tools work in the field. Let's go take a look and see how they make out. It was a lot of fun and our team of professional carpenters, contractors and remodelers, we spent the whole day driving hundreds of screws and fasteners using those top, the very top cordless screw guns from Bosch, DeWalt, Hilti, Makita and Senko. And we tested these tools in a thousand square foot addition that we were uh, we just built and just prior to board and plaster. Our team walked away with a really clear understanding of a winner in each category. And the categories were ergonomics, productivity, we looked at overhead use for fatigue and comfort, value, as well as that coveted best in class overall. Whether you're hanging board or laying decking, these screwdrivers are commonly used for duration tasks. They're off, they often require repetitive movement, uh, so the fit, feel, comfort, it's really a big deal for this tool. So ergonomics is a major category that we consider. And we look at the weight of the tool in combination with the comfort of the grip. And we did that in both standard and overhead applications. And our main number one choice was the Bosch SGH-182. Not only does this model weigh three pounds, the lightest in this testing, but also the small grip, it, it makes it easy to grip and reduce discomfort over long-term use. Weighing in at just 3.3 pounds uh, featured the DeWalt, and they have a really well-designed, ergonomically friendly handle as well. And the DeWalt DCF620D2 deserves your attention. Finally, I have to mention the Hilti for its surprisingly comfortable and well-balanced design, despite its heavy and dense feel. That weighs in at 4 pounds, and it's 25% it's heavier than the Bosch. But the Hilti is so well balanced and comfortable that the weight quickly becomes less of a factor, even in overhead applications. So adjustments to these tools were very important to us, especially when considering drywall applications where depth of, of the screw is important to high quality finish of the product. Overdriving can jeopardize the hold of the fastener and underdriving can result in imperfections in the finish. So, there were no standouts in this category and primarily we felt that it was because the operators were all able to achieve appropriate depth of drive quickly and easily. Some of the depth of drive adjustments were more intuitive than others and a few of them had their kinks but at the end of the day there were no clear discriminators in the category. So they were all great. As far as productivity goes, that's an important one with a tool. We felt the, the Hilti really shined here in productivity, their non-collated version. And when we t looked at collated, it was Bosch and DeWalt. So it was kind of a split if you, if you consider the collated accessories. When you consider repetitive tasks these tools are commonly used for, productivity is key in saving user time and ultimately making the contractor money. We considered a handful of features that impact the bottom line of speed as well as quality. But without a doubt, it was the collated attachment, the accessory, that was the game changer for productivity in these tools and bringing it to the user. Using collated screws is certainly a regional preference and also a potential cost issue for some guys. I, I can tell you that crews in my area do not, they don't, they don't use collated, they're not interested in using collated screws. I don't know why, but they don't. It could be a regional thing, I'm not sure. However, there are crews that will not do work without them. So we wanted to include it. For users that don't like the collated option, we felt that speed of the drill was the most telling on productivity. And this is where Hilti led the pack. The Hilti has a no load speed of 4,500 RPMs, closely followed by the DeWalt at 4,400. Over the course of the day, that extra drive speed can surely add up to more productivity in, in your work, in your day. And we also compared all of these screws, and uh, these drills, using collated screw attachments, with the exception of Makita, which doesn't offer a collated attachment. Collated screws can speed up productivity significantly, especially when you're doing that overhead work and you know where using an extra hand is helpful. You don't need to load the screw. We felt that the Bosch and the DeWalt, and the DeWalt performed very well and consistently drove screws without a problem. The Bosch and DeWalt auto feed attachments are surprisingly similar to each other, which makes sense since they both accept the Senko brand screw clips. It's a very similar design. Either way, the performance of these two models were neck and neck as far as driving uh, the, the clips. 
There were no jams. It was consistent depth of drive. And again, since the, they used the same screw brand clips, there was no difference in fasteners per, uh, for reloading. Senko's recognition in this category is most likely a product of their sole collated design. And unlike the rest of the competition, the Senko is the only uh, is, is only collated. It only has that. You don't have a choice. And the super effective auto feed and overall ease of use of the tool makes it really fast, super fast. The Senko gains additional productivity points because of that. And it has a long length, which makes it it's about 16 inches, which makes tasks of overhead work and, and decking a lot easier because it gets you a lot closer to the, to the work. The tool may be too fast though, and, and too fast for its own good. We did experience some jams during our testing. Talk a little bit about noise of the tools. The average corded screw gun is well over 110 decibels, where these were somewhere around 90-ish. The clear winner in this category was DeWalt. With only a few, uh, well, while only a few decibels lower than the competition, any amount of noise reduction is a good thing when it comes to protecting hearing. You know, a strong case can be made from Makita. Um, being in this category because they have what's called the Makita push drive technology. And basically it's a lock on mode where the motor only starts when you engage the fastener. And not only is it designed to reduce, increase runtime, but this feature also limits your exposure to the motor, the noise, and reducing the duration of that loud noise. We talked and looked at overhead use and the winner in this category was Bosch. And the category focused on drywall installation applications overhead and you know that's a taxing task at, at best and any relief on the shoulders and the neck is welcome. So uh, we considered the overall weight of the screw gun as well as uh, Bosch for instance was the lightest model in our head-to-head -head testing and it, that alone gave us a clear advantage being less weight. Uh, it rises above the rest in the screw guns in the test as well because the collated attachment adds significant convenience to the length of the tool as well as reduces reach for the installers. Both Senko and Hilti earn honorable mentions as well because for their comfortable use in overhead applications, even despite in their weight, 4.9 pounds and four pounds respectively, each model brought to the table something to make up for that weight. What I mean by that is the Senko delivers a monster reach of 16 inches. That's huge when you're reaching overhead. The Hilti, is so well balanced when fastening vertically that the weight of the tool actually seems to melt away. I was surprised. It's, it's, it's a heavy tool, but not when you're doing overhead. I, I can't figure it out. Awesome tool. Value. We gave the value category to DeWalt. And as always, we like to consider this category as an important part of design, of your decision as a consumer and professional to, to decide on what's the right price point for you and your business. DeWalt was aggressively priced when you compare it to Senko because DeWalt comes with two 4.0 batteries, whereas the Senko offers two 1.5 amp hour battery packs. And we thought, in our opinion, that made a huge difference. One might argue that the Senko should win this category, and maybe it should have, because it is the cheapest option, but only if you're looking for collated solution only. Senko is an all-in-one design. It does not require you to shell out for more collated accessories. The DeWalt has the versatility of using it without or with the attachment. So that's important. Best in class. Overall best in class and overall winner in our head-to-head -head was based on performance in all categories evaluated and the general feedback from our crew after testing. Best in class winners do not need to win all the categories. However, they need to stand out from the rest in the field of categories, in the key categories. And Chosen for overall performance in our head to head performance and crew feedback, we picked DeWalt. Second, Bosch, and third, Hilti. And when we, when we think about this, this was a really close head to head and probably the closest we've ever done. Both DeWalt and Bosch were so close, neck and neck in fact, that we gave the edge to DeWalt based solely on the fact that they offer a cutout tool, a cordless cutout tool. And we figured if you're gonna be doing drywall, you're gonna want that cutout tool. So, you know, installers wanna be on the same battery platform, it just made sense. Both of these screw guns took top dibs in three categories each, so making that choice wasn't easy. It's also worth noting that Hilti is an exceptional screw gun. 
its weight and cost held it back from taking the top position. However, when you consider that the Hilti is so robust that it will most likely wipe out the competition in long-term durability, which we were not able to test, obviously. If we had a way of speeding up our testing for time and abuse testing, my guess is Hilti would shine. So if you're a drywall or a plaster hanger, you're definitely gonna wanna consider this. There's no reason to wait any longer. You need to jump on the cordless train. I'm Rob Robillard, and if you liked this head-to-head -head video, please consider subscribing to our Toolbox Buzz video channel on YouTube. Take care.